Today, I'm going to be sharing with you a retail arbitrage tactic I used for my e-commerce business that allowed me to find about 1,500 units with about $15,000 to $17,000 spent across 30 different retail locations. And I've not heard anyone on YouTube talk about this method. So I'm going to be sharing it with you guys. Now, that being said, I'm not going to be disclosing my retail location that I use for this method. And I'm not going to be sharing with you my exact items I'm flipping, but I will be sharing with you guys how I found these crazy deals. So if you're ready, let's get right to it. Hey everyone, my name is Chris, and for those of you who don't know me, um, on this channel, I share different ways I make money online. For those of you who don't know me, one of the themes on this channel is I always preach working hard, but you also have to work smart. And I do believe that there is a time and place for both. Now, oftentimes on YouTube, what I see a lot of people doing is they're going into retail locations, you know, they're spending an hour, two hours, three hours scanning. And you know, to make a couple hundred bucks and nothing wrong with that, but honestly, it just seems like a waste of time. And so 99% of the time on my channel, I say retail arbitrage is not the best way to do things. However, there is a 1% of the time where it might be worth getting a rental van, going to 30 different retail locations and cleaning out, you know, 10 to 15 different SKUs. Before I get too far into this process I use and the tools I used to do this, I do want to say a couple of quick things. I give out a one hour call to someone who likes and comments on every single video. So the one hour call from last video is right here. Reach out to me and let's set something up. And lastly, I want to say I will be doing my first meetup this Saturday on Venice Beach, 4 to 7 p.m. with another YouTuber, Adam Fisher. Um, I've been on his channel before. I'm sure you guys know him. And it's gonna be a fun time. The whole purpose of this YouTube channel is to network, expand what you know, learn from others. So if you guys are in the area, definitely show up. I think it's gonna be a fun time. And I will be posting a link in the description below so you guys can check that out on Facebook. More details about that. Now, let's go ahead and get into this actual method of how I did this. So I'm not actually actively going out to try and find retail arbitrage deals. But when I'm grocery shopping, if I see something that strikes my eye, I will scan it. It takes me a second and it's not hard. And so what ended up happening here was I found about three to four items that really high ROI and very low sales rank. It got me thinking. So the first step to this is, and it's kind of counterintuitive to what I just told you, you actually have to go into a retail location and find three to four profitable items. Now, now give me a second to explain why. Okay. We are going to be analyzing the stores on these listings. Okay. And it only works when you find items that are profitable. So, you know, they're actually getting these items via a retail arbitrage business model, not OA, maybe not wholesale. Like by doing this method, actually going in the store and making sure that you're finding these items, it will increase the chance of this actually working. And so, what you're going to do is you're going to save those three or four items in your phone and you're going to take that Amazon item number or UPC number and you're going to plug it into Amazon. And what we're going to do is we are going to go to that listing, we are going to open up a tab for every single store that is prime on that listing, okay? Now, the first tool that we use comes into play here and it's called Storefront Stalker. It is a one-time payment of 200 bucks. Now, I'm not affiliated with this code or anything and I don't have any special deal for you or otherwise I would definitely offer it to you guys. But what this tool does is you right click on it once it's installed, Storefront Stalker, and it will extract all of the ASINs from that seller storefront. And then you wanna save it in TA format. So click the little TA box and then you're going to uh, save that file, okay? Let's say you have three items and there's four prime sellers on each item. So that's 12 different files you're going to have. And now what I did was I went into the second tool I'm gonna to be discussing, which is tactical arbitrage. Now, primarily I use this for the wholesale part of my business right now. Still do a little bit of online arbitrage with it, but that's how I started using this tool was online arbitrage. But what we're going to do is we're gonna go into the reverse search section. We're gonna take those files and we're gonna upload those into tactical arbitrage. And what this is going to do is it's going to compare all of those items in that seller's page to all of the different retailers prices inside of tactical arbitrage. And I believe for the US market, there's right around 500 stores, give or take, I think, don't quote me on that. And so now 
it's going to pull all the items. So let's say that seller had 400 items. It's going to compare all those 400 items to all 500 stores. You're going to get a lot of results. It's going to be a ton of results. So then once you upload all the files into tactical arbitrage, you then are going to download to a CSV. Okay. And once you download this massive file to a CSV, we're just going to highlight everything. We're going to select filter and then just only select the store that you actually went to. So what this is going to do is it's going to give you a handful of items to the store that you actually went to. And it may be 30 items, it may be 50 items. And not all of these items are going to be profitable, probably not, but you're going to get a handful of some that are. This is exactly what I did, okay? I ended up going to one store. I went to one more just to try this out. And it worked so well that I ended up getting a van and going to about 26 or 27 more stores, spending, you know, 15 to $17,000. And the ROI on this is 80%. So that means that if I spend $15,000, I bring back 12,000. I want to break this down. And this is the way I think of things right now. Um, at least this point in my business, this is not the main way I'm sourcing in my business. I will be doing a Q1 breakdown later on, on my channel, just, you know, over January, February, March, my sales, what I learned, everything like that. But this is how I think of things. Okay. So in wholesale, let's say it takes you $20,000 of inventory to make 6k, which is about how we're doing things right now. That's pretty typical. Okay spend 20k to bring back six that means that this trip was the equivalent i spent fifteen thousand dollars and i was able to duplicate that of a 40k wholesale order and that's kind of how i'm thinking things right now i did have to sacrifice my time for money at some point everyone has to do that this worked out great. Now, I want to say one thing. I'm going to give you an example of who this would not work for just so you can have a better picture of things. You're going to want to make sure that you at least have a few stores in your area. So let's say, for example, I'm going to use Sierra Trading Post as an example here because I know that they don't have locations everywhere. So let's say you spend an hour, you go into Sierra Trading Post, you find four items. Okay, you find 40 to 50 items that you might be able to find in the store well, if the next retail location is four hours away, it's not going to be worth your time. Try and find some retail locations that are going to be close. You know, maybe it's 15 miles this way, and then there's another one that's five miles away, three miles away, 20 miles away. And when you're getting 30, 50, sometimes 100 items at one store, it's going to definitely be worth your while. Last thing I want to say, in order for this method to work, you do need to make sure your store is in tactical arbitrage. If it's not in tactical arbitrage, there is a way to add those stores into tactical arbitrage, but some stores just can't be added. It just doesn't matter what they are. Just before you spend all this time and you get your tactical arbitrage membership, make sure you are actually analyzing this. But yeah, guys, I mean, that's pretty much it. I wanted to share this with you. I'm always looking for different ways, creative ways to make money. Um, let me know what you guys thought about this. And if you did try this method and it did work out for you, let me know in the comment section below. But without further ado, I will go ahead and close out here and I hope you have a great rest of your day.